Hey beautiful people, it's your boy Joshua Martin and today we'll be answering a few questions that I've been getting about Visco. Um, one of them, what do the tools mean and how to go about editing. Now I'm not going to sit here and try to teach you how to edit but I'm definitely going to try to explain what each of the tools, not all of them, but each of the tools can be used and, and what it what happens in Visco as you're messing around with the tones and different presets that they have and with the other customizable controls. So let's jump right in and let's go actually go right through some of the controls. So once you tap on an image in your Visco, at the bottom you have you know the exit button, you have the edit button, you have the upload button which uploads to your grid, and then you have your other options so you can share it out and things like that. I did go over all of the menus in Visco with my other video, so make sure to check that out. Um, it'll be in the cards above. So we're gonna jump into the edit tab. And the first thing that it brings you to, it gives you all of the presets. Now, I have a lot of presets because I've, I've had Visco ever since the first first app um, came out with it. Ever since they first came out with their app, so I have a lot of presets. Presets are just to be used for a starting point to get you to a point where you like that mood and then from there you further tweak it so i have a lot because i have a, i have a wide range of different tastes and not every preset fits with every single image that you create so as soon as you click on one if you click on it again it gives you this this bar here and it ranges from 0 to 12 12 being the highest 0 being the lowest so you can adjust this all these micro adjustments in visco so let's just start with that but if you want further control you hit the white bar at the bottom it brings up further edits the undo and then you can actually see everything you've done so far so let's open up the further edits and now here is a little bit more customization so from left to right we have exposure contrast rotation or straightening perspective horizontal change perspective vertical change, cropping, clarity, sharpness. There is a difference between clarity and sharpness. You have saturation, uh, saving the highlights, saving the shadows, temperature, tint. This is very boring, but stay with me. <laughs> Skin tones vignetting, grain, fade, which everybody loves to do. I have some fade ones too, so. Uh, shadow tints and highlight tints. So let's go all the way back. Now, keep in mind, this is not like Photoshop. This is not like Lightroom. These edits are very global. So it's hard to get very subtle changes. So with exposure, it's all in the, uh, we'll call them stops. So you have a range from uh, zero to uh, negative six and then plus six, and those are your stops. Contrast is the same way. If you don't know what contrast is, it's trying to crush the blacks and heighten the whites or heighten your, your highlights. That's what it's basically doing when it means by contrast. So that's why you start to get this very um, gritty look. And if you zoom in here, is blowing out the highlights and is and is crushing the shadows and if you bring it back down it's going to try to feather that it's going to try to lighten those areas and this is a very very global slide i wish and i hope in the future that visco gets rid of this and this brings two separate sliders a black slider and a white slider then you have a lot more control because sometimes i just i want to crush my blacks rather than crushing everything at the same time that's what i mean by global um, so we already know how to use this. You just straighten if it's not straight. I love this feature because sometimes I think my images are straight, but they're really not. And so these, these two settings here, the vertical perspective and the horizontal perspective gives a nice little assistance. Um, you have various different aspect ratios here in your crop mode as presets. I'm not sure if we could customize this. We can look in the menus later, but you have, of course, you can do it yourself when you click on the white circles. Okay, clarity and sharpening. Clarity, 
Clarity is like adding contrast and sharpening at the same time. Yeah, so if we took, you know, if we took this all the way to 12, some people like this gritty look and it had it has its place. But that's what it basically is doing is adding sharpening and contrast at the same time. Not a lot of contrast, but you can see it did get a little bit darker. And so, and then sharpening, sharpening just tries to find the contrast between darks and lights so it appears sharpened and of course it does add it does do a, the same thing like uh, clarity saturation you know i'd rather have a vibrant slider i don't know if there's a vibrant slider here actually then saturation because saturation is like i said before is a very global slider so if you want to boost up one type of color it's going to boost all type of colors so you see this orange pop in here and then this actually this blue is popping too because it's doing everything saving the highlights highlight save i mean simply just um means what it says it's trying to bring down just the highlights so if your highlights if the camera phone is a little bit too um, overexposed and it's actually pretty hard to do that with a photo from the from your phone but it's there for you to play with uh this is not the best example maybe i have another example to show you too and same thing with the shadows so if you think your shadows are too dark you can kind of bring the slider up uh, you can have it faded that's one way to fade it <laughs> temperature another global um edit like all of them but to the left are your cools or the cool cooler tones and if you bring all the way to the right are your warmer tones then we have tint tint can be fun tint and then the other tint shadows and tint highlights that could be fun because that's when you can get really kind of creative with coloring and things like that so with tint if you that left at zero is not be messing with anything but as soon as you start bringing it to the left is you're going to be in your greens uh, and then to the right are your magentas not pinks magentas I have another example to show you what skin tones and how that affects. Of course, vignetting. Vignetting is um, a creative choice. Um, it, dar it darkens the edges of your image. Grain. Um, it's a stylistic choice, of course. Grain just adds these artificial noise. Uh, it's. I have. I have some images that add that because I mean, we tried. Grain is trying to replicate what film did back in the day because film grain was an actual thing because of the type of film that you used nowadays in digital we try to add that back when digital photography is trying to get you know trying to make everything kind of smooth but like i said it's a stylistic choice fade fade is just simply fading the image shadows tint you have these colors here and all it is going to affect all the darker areas in your image. And as you see, as you tap on it, it has this, another bar. And if you tap on that bar again, the circle again, it gives you adjustments. So they do try to give you a lot of customizable um, adjustments for these features here. Same thing again with the highlight tint. If you tap on it, it's only going to try to affect your highlights. That means your whites or the brightest areas in your image. So you got the purple there. That's kind of trippy. Yeah. And I use this, these two um, features with this image. Let's come back. These images here, my bird images, you can actually find this on my Visco because I like just adding different things that I don't normally shoot. And these birds, you know, they're flying across uh, on a cloudy day, which has made it perfect because the clouds act like the highlights. And so all I did was made it very contrasty and I tinted them. And so we go here, we go here, and we go to the history of it. I just brought up those tints like crazy. And I added the grain and contrast and I, and I boosted it up a bit. And I started with a preset and I left it at the highest. So yeah, that's one creative way you can really use those uh, tints and highlights and I did like five images and things like that let's jump into a portrait so I can show you what the oops wrong way what the skin tone does what it tries to do skin tone has green and magenta so I guess it's trying to find these flesh tones that are common within skin 
but if you go to the left it's in reverse now it's a little bit more magenta if you need to and if you go to the right it's a little bit more green if you need to to bring out that magenta so you're adding and subtracting that's really what you're doing i'm actually sit here and re-edit i don't think i've ever edited this image actually this is one of my travel images what i really like about this image is this blast of warm um, color popping in and I saw a preset that I did like. That's a simple edit. But before I end, one more thing. I did say I was going to go over the toolbox. So if you go to your profile at the top, click settings, and then it's gonna bring up preferences, go into preferences, and then editing toolkits. Now this is where you can both edit your preset order and your toolkit order. You tap on this, and then now you can get into the nitty gritty of how you want to organize. So like it says, if you double tap, and then double tap again to the area you want to hide so it's not really much like changing the order of it it's just what you want to get rid of so actually since so i'm sitting here let me just get rid of clarity since i'm here and i want to get rid of fade and i want to get rid of vignette tent temperature skin tone safe shadow saturation I think as a solution to saturation, I'm going to start coloring with the tints in the temperature and skin tone to get a little more control. I'm gonna I'm a test that theory out and you'll hear back from me. But yeah, that's how you do it. And if you wanna pop in the, you know, the presets, you can, you know, double tap to hide them and so on and so forth. That's actually really cool. Look at that. Okay, too much fun. So there you go, guys. I hope that will help you out. Again, check out my Visco. Uh, follow me on Instagram. That's my social media of choice. And subscribe and like. Please say your comments if, you, if there's anything that I um, didn't explain clearly or if there's any tips and tricks that you want to share with me. Please, you know, comment below. All right. Peace.